Hey everyone, it's Sean. I'm here at Proust Pets and it's time for another Animal Facts video. Today, I have a super cool lizard with me called a Butterfly Agama. Now, you probably haven't really heard of these animals or never less really seen them before, but they're a newer lizard that we're carrying here and what makes these guys so special is pretty much everything about them. As you can see, he's kind of squirmy right now, kind of has a long tail. That's just because he's a baby and he's trying to get away from me. But these guys can actually calm down quite a bit and become pretty good pets. Now, one of the coolest things about these guys is that the fact that they can get up to 20 inches long, most of it being their tail. But what I love about them is that they're great burrowers. So at nighttime, they like to dig these burrows where they get down underneath the substrate to just kind of hide out for the night, stay away from their predators. And they'll dig multiple burrows all connecting to each other. And when they need to, in case they're going to be uh, or at least feel like they're in need of uh, protection, they'll actually close their own burrows up until daytime and then dig their way back out. Now, while they're down there digging, they can actually find some of their food sources. So these guys are omnivores. Omnivore means that they eat both fruits and veggies as well as meat. So for a little guy like this or even an adult one, that mainly means insects. So they'll hunt down things like cockroaches, crickets, grasshoppers, and things like that but they'll also find any veggies that they can and fruits that might be laying around. They come from a pretty interesting area of both Thailand and Vietnam and China. We kind of think of most of those areas as being kind of jungle-like, but they actually have some arid areas. So these guys are actually from the more arid parts of each of those countries. Daytime temperatures can actually reach over 100 degrees. So they don't mind getting outside when it's about 90 or 95 and even up to 100. When it starts to get a little bit too warm for them, higher than 100 degrees or so, they'll actually duck back down into their burrows again and hide until it cools down a little bit. Now the nighttime temperatures actually drop down into the 60s and 70s. We don't really think of deserts as being places that get cold, but they really do. They warm up super hot during the daytime and they cool down really, really low at nighttime because there's nothing there to really help hold in any of the heat. As the rocks lose all their heat, they just kind of become cooled down and then there's no vegetation or anything to help like seal in all that heat that might have happened during the day. So this guy's kind of dull colored right now. As you can see he's mainly gray. He's got a little bit of black striping um, which is kind of common for them. But as they get older these guys actually become very very bright colored green, red, yellow, and orange and then they maintain those black stripes. I really really love the shape of their head. They have kind of a classic like dinosaur looking head, very, very blunt. A lot of like old world iguanas have uh, heads that look that way. He looks like he's squinting at me right now. He's got those big uh, ridges for his, uh, his eyes. You can see his ear hole on the side. Sometimes with certain lizards, they look really hard. You can actually see all the way through. Can't really with him. He's got some decent sized claws. Those help him climb along rocks and also help him with digging his burrows. And you can also see like on this particular guy where his tail actually started to break at one point. A lot of lizards can break their tails off and then the tail will wiggle around a little bit and that distracts their predator, makes the predator go after their tail while they go back. Some lizards can actually grow theirs back. So this is a really, really cool lizard. It's kind of new to the store. I've actually only dealt with a couple types of ag agamas before. This is kind of a newer one for me, but he's super, super cute. A lot of people compare them to bearded dragons. They just take a little bit of work and then they become very, very easy to take care of. Now he's kind of calmed down. So he can have his close up. Can you see yourself, buddy? So, cool. Well, I hope you guys learned something about Agamas because I did. And I think they're one of my new favorite lizards. I just noticed something very, very cool. Kind of hard to see on the camera, but he's got a white stripe right there and it actually cuts down through his eye and it's part of his camouflage. So, all right, have a good night.